Do do do. All right. Here is Kara. Hello. Hi. All right. Good. 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 Well, uh, it's seven o'clock and we're starting. It's the online open mic, and uh, we're hosted by Mid City Community Music, which is midcitymusic.org. But I can't remember if there's a hyphen or not. Let's say there's not a hyphen. And if that doesn't work, put a hyphen in. And uh, well, this was started as a follow up to our songwriting tips and tricks class for people who started started writing songs after that or, or needed a place to go after that class was over. Uh, we needed, we wanted to send them somewhere, so we made our own little open mic. And sometimes it's online, and sometimes it's it's uh, live, and right now it is online. And uh, and that's the story, that's the glory. And here's Bonnie. Hi, Hi. Bonnie. We're, uh, we're, we're recording and uh, we got a couple, uh, we got new people and people who haven't been around for a while and old people and people and everybody's getting older. <laughs> so here, here goes 2023 and, uh, and the noises therein. Uh, is anybody itching to, to uh, take the helm and go first? Okay, then it gets quiet. All right, uh, I have an oddness prepared, and uh, you guys can bear with me and see if this thing works. Uh, I'll spotlight myself. I'm going to share uh, audio. I'm going to play a tune. Here's my music. This is something I did at our community concert with one of the bands. This is a double bell euphonium. And I worked out a part for a song and I played it along with the band and I'd like to share that with you because this is my recent exploration in music. Uh, can you hear this? I can't stop this feeling Deep inside of me Girl, you just don't realize What you do to me When you hold me In your arms so tight You let me know Everything's alright Oh, 
Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> How about some Sergeant Pepper? Was that was some that Sergeant... anywhere near uh, in balance? Or yes. Was that... yes. Yes. Oh, cool. Cool. Yeah, the double belly phoneme, if you're curious, it's got this uh, three vowels for a regular baritone. And then this one. The switching between the two different bells. Oh, cool. Um, and it's kind of a 1920s instrument. I, they don't use them anymore. But Sounds somebody like gave me else. one, and then about a week after they gave it to me, someone gave me. A, someone said, "Hey, you play brass? Why don't you play play in our band?" So I got a horn and a gig. All right, who wants to go next? That's a, a nice, easy act to follow. Yeah, I can go. All right. <laughs> good. 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 This is a song uh, written by Ian Tyson. He just passed earlier this week. So it's kind of a, a tribute to him. You've probably heard uh, heard it done by Neil Young and uh, Emmy Lou Harris. It's probably the most uh, often that you've heard it. It's called Four Strong Winds. And he actually started out as a... Uh, cowboy on the rodeo circuit and he got hurt so he decided during his downtime he'd learn how to play the guitar and write songs he's uh, from Canada I 
look for you if I'm ever back this way. I'll look for you if I'm ever back this way. Thank you. That's great. Ron, yeah. I love your voice. Makes me feel good. Yeah, he wrote some good songs. Um, yeah. That yeah. Uh, you've heard other people do. Yeah, he's he's been covered quite a bit. Wow. It's good. Well, I'm looking around for who looks... Uh, Looks ready or itchy or uh... <laughs> now, yeah, okay. yeah. I, you 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 look like you're ready to rip, man. No, <laughs> so like if you're interested in Indian music, then I can go. So or else, yeah, I love I love me some Indian music. There's a, uh, uh, yeah, I've seen Ravi Shankar live three times. Wow. Oh, so uh, you like sitar based music, Indian raga based music, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't been exposed to much of the. Uh, uh, to, uh, uh, Bangra, uh, no, no, not much Bollywood, but my family likes it. Uh, my okay, my yeah. sister's married to a uh -huh. Bengalese guy. Oh wow! So yeah, it's like right now I'm actually learning. So I'm still in learning state, but I'm learning South Indian classical music. It's called Carnatic music. So I don't know if you have heard of that, but it's mostly based upon raga music. So. So today I was like from last uh, one month, I was like working on some Raga based music uh, based in the key of D. So this Raga is called Nata. So I I'll just try to play this uh, it's like, however I, it's like how I practice it over the past week or past month. So I hope you like it. Yeah. Okay. I've got a mute and uh, yeah. Yeah. Go let ahead. me know when you can, uh, I, I was using this called Tanpura, which is like a, which is which helps the key which I'm playing. So can you hear that music? The background? No. Oh, a little bit, a little bit. If you can put it close, turn it up and put it close to the microphone. Yeah, just give me. Yeah. Yeah. That should be good. Play a little bit and I'll let you know if it's if it's drowning out the guitar. Yeah, that should be good. Is that good? Thank mm -hmm. you. 
I think uh, I got till this point. That is so good. Yeah, that is, good. I'm learning so much from you, just like right now. You, it, it, the, the uh, tell us what's the hardest part of that. This is like I was. Uh, have you heard about the gamakas? Uh, so these are these are the embellishments we use. So basically, I have a scale. So if you, this is in the key of D. So these are the main main notes in this scale. So. <laughs> So this is a scale, but but if you have to use that in, in the form of raga, then you have to use this note embellishment. So so now th this is the toughest oh, part. Tough so, yeah. so now so yeah. so you have to use this embellishments, and the real the hardest part of this raga is like when I'm when I have to use this uh, technique where this lick. That, yeah, that's all one finger. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's sick. That's great. So, yeah, <laughs> I, thanks. I'm yeah. glad you like this. Uh, yeah, the, beautiful. Though. The, 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 and and uh, you can't do the big bends that a sitar can, but those yes. fret slides are amazing. Exactly. So I think, yeah, yeah, yeah the sitar, and, yeah, I was like, sitar is not South Indian instrument, so it's an... Uh, it's a North Indian instrument. So I'm from South India. So South India, they use something called Veena. So I'm not sure if you heard of Veena. So, no. so yeah, I was translating the Veena music to the Western guitar. Wow. Music. It's great. So, thank you. Thank yeah, you. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. I'm glad you liked it. Next, yeah, really next month, I'll come up with a new like in a different. Okay, crowd. good, good. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll, uh, I'll yeah. crack out my, my old sitar and, and, and show you just how good you are by comparison. And I'm, just like, I'm just learning. So, yeah, thank you so much. I could just uh, imagine the drums in the background. Yeah, yeah, they were they were happening on the phone, but the yeah. uh, the the uh, the guitar would would sort of make them dip uh, on account of compression. But uh, yeah, it, w there are apps on the phone that are uh, something box uh, the, the, the that that play the a drone and a beat. Yeah, that'd be um, cool. Yeah, uh, yeah. I think. Yeah, next time I'll try to incorporate the the tabla beats as well. That's it. Oh, 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 cool. Oh, it wasn't going on there. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't going on there. So yeah, but but it's oh, okay. it's just it's just some uh it ca it's called tanpura. So it's it's basically uh I don't know how to say that, but I don't want to waste your time. So. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. That's good. That's great. Good. 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 Okay. Who wants to go next? I'll give it a shot. Exactly. All right. Cool. All right, okay, I'm going to so bring you up here. Oh, ah, oh, I muted you. Sorry, I was trying to trying to spotlight you, but I hit the mute instead. Um, can you unmute yourself, uh, Jeff? Thanks. Okay. All right, now I'm going to spotlight you, and then uh, mute myself, and it's all yours. Now I'm going to do this um, kind of a variation on. Uh, the Ballad of Jed Clampett, which is the Beverly Hillbillies theme, uh, was originally written by, I think his name was Paul Henning, who also happened to be the producer of the show. And then, of course, uh, was played by Flatten Scruggs and sung by Randy Scroggins. But I, I added a couple of verses to it, and I even put in some of the old ads for Winston cigarettes and uh, uh, cornflakes. So anyway, <laughs> here we go. Excuse me, I got to tune up. I'm way off. That's part of banjo. It never keeps tuned more than a minute or two. If 
teacher said, never apologize for tuning. It gives us an opportunity to tell banjo jokes. Yeah, which I, maybe we, or or to to pass on. I think I, I, are, I, I think I already told all the ones I know, <laughs> which aren't many. Okay. What color does a banjo play? Who? Plink. <laughs> okay. Hillbilly show on CBS. Move the rabbit ears till reception was its best. We love the theme they play. Flatten, strut, fleet, sway. Ballad of Chip Flatten as they cross the USA. Come along and listen to a man named Jed. Poor mountaineer barely kept his family fed. Then one day he was shooting at some food. Up through the ground come a bubbling crude. Oil, that is. Black gold. Texas tea. First thing you know, that Jed's a millionaire. Kin folks said, Jed, move away from there. This California's the place you ought to be. So they bundle up the truck and they move to Beverly Hills, that is. Swimming pools, movie stars. Come along and visit with the Clampett family. Learn the simple pleasures of the hills of Beverly. That includes the products of the sponsor of the week, the cereals of Kellogg's, Kellogg's of Battle Creek, Kellogg's double O, K E double L double good, Kellogg's S to you. Sean Ellie May, despite her tomboy ways, Jethro's crazy stunts would make us laugh out loud all day. Danny always said that the simply country life was best, but Uncle Jed would have the last word of the Daisy Man. Said a spell, take your shoes off. Y'all come back now, you hear? Come along and visit with the Clampett family. Take you to their mansion in the hills of Beverly. When they get your run into a friend of theirs you've met. Good old friend with filtered blend. Winston cigarette. Winston Cigarette should. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. That's a good tune. Yeah, that's great. And every time I'm asked to do a theme for a, a game, um, I always hold that and the and the uh, I always try to get in like the uh like that tune and the uh Gilligan's Island one and tell the story. <laughs> set set the whole background. Man, that's that's cool, man. <laughs> uh Ellie May, you keep popping the buttons off of the shirts. I have to, you know, they, oh, they, know. they had little, they had little zingers in there that 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 uh, weren't entirely for the young. Oh yeah, Granny would uh, would chide Ellie May for for all the buttons she had to sew back on her shirts. <laughs> all right, uh, let's see, what do we got? Thank you, Jeff. Thank oh. you, Jeff. Kara. Oh, oh yes, thank you, Jeff. That was awesome. Um, okay, so this is a song I just finished writing. Um, 
for people who have heard some of my songs, I tend to write very specific quirky lyrics. And so I, with this one, I set myself a challenge of um, writing more of a like standard love song, actually a heartbreak song. Um, and just to kind of make myself do it. And also I wanted to use um, the element of a pre-chorus, which I've never done before. Uh, so this is what I came up with, and it's called Look Away First. I saw that thing I've been trying to ignore. When I let go of your hand, you ain't holding mine no more. I'm not blaming you, and I ain't keeping score. But your kisses and a little premature if there was someone else at least i could believe it's that you want her more not that you don't want me should i pretend your love ain't going in reverse or should i face reality i don't know which hurts worse when I gaze into your hazel eyes, feels like my heart will burst. Then you look away first. I said I'm fine with this. I thought I could be strong. But your arm never lingers on my back for very long. When I touch your cheek, you try to play along. But you hold me like you're doing something wrong. If there was someone else, at least I could erase. This sense of emptiness I feel in your embrace. Should I pretend your love ain't going in or should I face reality? I don't know which hurts worse. When I gaze into your head, sorry. When I gaze into your hazel eyes, feels like my heart will burst. Then you look away first. haven't called in days and now I finally see I can't become the thing you wanted me to be no matter what I do you ain't gonna love me so I gotta set my own self free I won't pretend your love ain't going in reverse. It's time to face reality, cause the opposite hurts worse. The only way to save myself and break this icky curse is look away first. Is look away first. Very nice. Very nice. <clears throat> wow. Wow. Kara, thank you. Uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm learning things about, uh, oh, hello. <laughs> this is great. Uh, I, I'm learning, you know, there's this thing like, like nonviolent communication that if I, if I say that was good, it's like, I'm telling you my judgment and that, you know, and that's judgy and and i just but i just i i i can't think about that too much i just loved listening to that Aww. that was good and if you set out to to write a a good solid pop song you did it and if you set out to write a a pre-chorus that pivots so well between a really nicely 
contrasted verse and chorus, you did it. Yeah, I mean, that's just like really great. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, well, uh, moving on, I guess it's between Bonnie and, and Jeff B uh, for the next slot. Uh, who's feeling it? I'll go. Okay. Here we go, Bonnie. I'm, I'm spotlighting you. All right. Yeah. Uh, so this song is, um, it's pretty fresh. So it's. Oh, can, can you bring the volume up a, a tad? Do you have, uh, have a, a knob to do that? Is that better? Yes, it is. Okay. And I need to make sure that the piano doesn't doesn't overwhelm. Is that better? The, the piano does not overwhelm. Uh, the vocal's strong compared to it. Okay. I mean, in a good way. All right. So, yeah. So I've written this song, and uh, I've just kind of, kind of finished it today. So it's still, yeah, th those are all the caveats when I make mistakes. Um, so... <laughs> Uh, it was based on a a song prompt called Full Circle, and I couldn't come up with anything for Full Circle because something's been going on in my mind, but I thought, this is close enough. It's called Roundabout. Uh, so let's see how we go. A momentous day, you said, when I took the keys. You stood there in your red knit hat while I began to weep as I drove away. It began with lists at the front door by the stove. But the one on the steering wheel scared me the most. Then you got lost on the freeway. Later you told me I'm frightened. Love doesn't go in a straight line, yields curves left or right, but it always finds a way to you. Love is a roundabout. A roundabout. You suggested a timeline to bid farewell to your favorite places, McDonald's, by yourself. For three months I dreaded the future, the price we'd pay. You'd lose your freedom, and what would I gain? Love doesn't go in a straight line, yields curves left or right, but it always finds its way to you. Love is a roundabout, a roundabout. For 16 years of my life, you shuttled me to and fro. The mall, the movies, doctor's appointments, piano. You sacrificed and I never said thank you. Thank you. As I drove away, I analyzed the ache in my chest. Is my heart breaking or is it blessed? 
What I thought would be a burden has instead become a purpose. You kept me safe and now it's my turn. Love doesn't go in a straight line, yields and curves left and right. But it always finds its way to you. Love is a roundabout. A roundabout. A roundabout. A roundabout. We are, we are so blessed to get these fresh fresh tunes coming right in out of the out of the heavens and right <laughs> into our ears it's so good thanks mm, thank you thank you why is it that when a tune is uh new there's just something special about that i just it just carries a vibe it's not like it sounds better or is particularly <laughs> contemporary, you know, but there's just something, something magic. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sure. Ah, all right. Well, Jeff, how are you feeling? Yeah, I'll go next. All right. Perfect. Um, you... I've just been learning my favorite songs on guitar. Oh, this song's called Acne Bell. It's by Gillian Welch. <laughs>
Love that song. It just right. it's like old Appalachian music. Yeah. Very cool. Jeff, you were you only knew one song about a year ago? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think I was here like a year and a half ago and I, I kinda had one song I was comfortable with and I've been learning wow. more. been learning more since then. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, you're uh you're you're a guitar player for sure. Oh thank you. I don't know if you're if you're uh entertaining the parties yet, but uh if if it hadn't happened yet it's it's right around the corner yeah i mean like like play for my friends and stuff yeah um, yeah so yeah i'm trying to do more like this so i cool. appreciate it's, everybody for being here you know yeah. getting over the nervousness all that you know now? thanks it's, for your ears <laughs> uh -huh. yeah yeah it's good good listening good listening and uh uh oh i okay i'm up and cindy just came in and she's gonna do a song with me We've run through it a couple of times. Let me just set this thing to Omni. Click too much. Can you still hear us? Test, test. Can you hear? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, great. And I'm gonna, I'm I'm, and I'll, I'll let's see, put on original sound for musicians. And can you hear that? Yep. Let me just let me get get, get this thing in tune. Uh, this is uh, for me. Uh, finger picking. I think those of you who've been here before, you know that finger picking is not my thing. Um, but a, a friend called me up and asked me to do a song with her in church uh, last week, and so I. Fortunately, this this one was finger pick, picking, but. But fortunately, it was a uh, really cheater finger picking, not not so different, not so different from the Beatles. And uh, Cindy was kind enough to learn the tune. Oh, and let's turn the camera. I'll turn Is that. It? Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's good. That's a good look. <laughs> okay. Now let me see. Mike's in Omni. You guys can hear us. Okay. I think we're ready to go. Okay. If I can remember how it goes.
<laughs> that is by Francesca uh, oh come on I see this right there Battistelli ah all right and that and that the tuning for that is so weird it's actually just a point point of curiosity. I had uh, this. You see, I'm capoed up to the second fret, but this is actually an E B G. It's 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 all what it should be. So I tuned it down a step, and then I capoed it up a step in order to get it where I needed to be, so that I could play this open C and still have the. Uh, have the chords under my fingers. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, Ron, do you want to uh, pop in there? Yeah, I got uh, one here. It's uh, one of my favorite artists' birthday today. Uh, Stephen Stills, you probably know him from Crosby Stills, Nash and Young. This is a song actually he did earlier on in a solo. It's called So Begins the Task. sun to remind my body it needs resting and I must learn to live without you now I must learn to give only part Camping on the edge of your city, I wait, hoping someday you might see beyond yourself. The shadows on the ceiling are hard but not real, like the bars that cage you within yourself. And I must learn to live. Without you now, I must learn to give only part, part so now. And perhaps it is I who is trapped by illusion for the first time in quite a while. I doubt myself. All of these words are like any other words, only echoes of shadows within myself. And I must learn to live without you now. I must 
much love to give Only part of so now Well, all of these cages Must and shall be set aside They will only keep us from the knowing Actors and stages now fall before the truth And the love shed between remains a growing And I will learn to live without you now As I cannot learn to give only part As I cannot learn to give only part of me sometimes. Thank you. Ron, what are the first three chords of the verse? Like, what's that chord progression? Uh, it's G, D, F. G, D, F. Yeah, then to an E minor. Yeah, it's a little little different. It's so, I love, I love that progression. Yeah. It's funny how that generation. And actually, I'm capoing on the fifth because my voice is not where it usually is. So I'm actually playing it in C. Yeah, Ron's working with a handicap tonight. Yeah. He's a. Uh, that I told him he was too good last month, and I said you, you got to capo it. You know you got to sing out of your range, or I'm not going to let you do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Jeff, are you feeling like you got another one in you tonight? Yeah. Well, I thought um, somebody ought to play "Odd Lang Syne" since it's New Year's. Yes. Yes, yeah, so I'll play that. All right. Got a the backup thing going here. Should all acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind? Should all acquaintance be forgot and please for all lang syne? For all lang syne, my dear, for all lang syne, should all acquaintance be forgot for the old lang syne? Acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind Should all acquaintance be forgot for the old lang syne for old lang syne, my dear, for old lang syne, should old acquaintance be forgot for the old lang syne.
sign. Kind of got off track there. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> I never knew I needed a claw hammer version of Old Lang Syne, but now I know that I did. That's right. You, you can't predict these things. Uh, very good. Very good. Uh, um, let's see. So this means if we continue the pattern after the Kara, do you have another one you want to bring up or just you, you can pass? I'll pass. Okay. Okay. Spoon solo. I, I, I always tease her about it, but she's a wonderful spoons player. Um, and, uh, then that brings us around to Bonnie and you're signed up for another one, Bonnie making pies it says here on the chart i could who would who's what's is it avinesh is he doing one too he uh doing? let's see oh, oh i didn't write down oh avinesh was uh was after you last time and i didn't before write me. Uh, before you yes yes yeah. yes okay uh, I, I think i'll pass because now i'll come up with something interesting next next time <laughs> okay because, because uh, she's already signed up so <laughs> thanks though okay Okay, so uh, Bonnie making pies, it says here. Sure, yeah, I'll try this. It's been a while. Excuses, excuses. <laughs> no, <laughs> I think we should all just kind of start with excuses. Yeah, it's, you know, what it is is to try and set low expectations. That's really what it comes down to. The preliminary ego strike. Yeah. I, I, I'm sort of hoping that, that like in this place, it's it's safe enough <laughs> that not only do you not need the excuses, but you're totally okay giving excuses. I am totally yeah. okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah, good. You should be. I love this song. Um, I first learned it on guitar, but um, my guitar playing still is pretty weak. So um, I adapted it to piano, and it's a, a Patty Griffin cover of an Ellie Goulding song called Making Pies. So uh, let's see what we got here. It's not far I can walk Down the block To table talk Close my eyes Make pies all day Plastic cap on my hair I used to mind, now I don't care Used to mind, but I don't care Cause I'm gray Did I show you this picture of my nephew Taken at his big birthday surprise At my sister's house last Sunday this is Monday and we're making pies. Why well, making pies? Making pies. This damn microphone's in the way. Can't see the piano. <laughs> Thursday nights, I go and type down at the church with Father Mike. It gets me out, and he ain't hard to like at all. Jesus stares at me in my chair with his big blue eyes and his honey brown hair and he's looking at me way up there from the wall. Did I show you this picture of my sweetheart taken of us before the war of the Greek and this Italian girl one Sunday at the shore? We tied our ribbons to the firescape. They were taken by the birds who flew home to the country. 
as the bombs rained on the world. could cry or die or just make pies all day i'm making pies making pies making pies making Good, good pandemic number two. Uh, <laughs> yeah, making good. bread. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, yeah. What are we doing? <laughs> I'd do something. Wow, Jeff, you signed up for uh, for Gillian Welch. Yeah, uh, you want me to go next? Yeah. I just thought I'd put it on there. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think I think you're next. I, I think everybody's. Oh, uh, I am next. I'm everybody who wants to go twice has has gone twice except you, and so uh, you're sort of a. Uh, your bat and cleanup. Yeah, I'll I'll <laughs> double dip one. Uh, I'll I have another uh, do another Gillian Welch one. It's called the Red Clay Halo. dance with the boys from the city and they don't care to dance with me well it ain't my fault that the fields are muddy and the red clay it stains my feet well it's under my nails and it's under my collar and it shows on my sunday clothes oh i do my best with soap and water but the damn old dirty won't go When I pass through the pearly gates Will my gown be gold instead? Or just a red clay robe With red clay wings And a red clay halo for my head I'll 
take a rude clay road It's rude clay wings and a rude clay halo for my head <laughs> good a good barn burner finish good great picture, one yeah. to play along to man yeah good good well uh, uh i'm gonna put uh, a little donation link in the chat room there and uh i guess i'll do the thing where i share the screen and uh will that let me do it and i'll share the screen real quick and you can see uh that there's a a thingy and if you wanted to scare to scan that thingy you can make a donation there there it is boom did i do it are we seeing it no we're not seeing it maybe we are seeing it there it is there's a thingy anyway that's always there for you in the uh, in the sign up thing okay that was my shameless plug <laughs> thank you for your uh for your contributions musically and spiritually and uh, uh smiling facedly um and uh and otherwise uh this is a real blessing for me i enjoy doing this and it's uh it's it's a good thing when when people get together and uh and feel safe and make noise so uh that being said uh, if, does anyone else have anything they want to throw down before we do the closing high five? It, it would be great if we have in-person meetings. Are you in San Diego? Yeah, I'm in San Diego. Okay, duly noted. Uh, did, do you know where the website is for the uh, uh, for Mid City Community Music? When uh, there are get-togethers, they're not all open mics, so there's there's various jams, and I'm just going to put that in there uh sd community music.org and uh putting it in the chat there that's that's the that's that the, the you jam that jam Laley will allow you to do an open mic what's that the jam Laley, the one with ukuleles oh they did allow, they will allow open mic i was uh, running at one time and a guy showed up and he's like I want to do an open mic. And I'm like, you know, a lot of these people came here to make their, you know, I, I got all, yeah, Jamma Laley is a good one. But but as long as you put your music up there and people can play along with you, they're they're good with it. Perfect. Yeah. So the Jamma Laley, so, so so look on that site and look for the Jamma Laley, uh, like, like ukulele only is jam. And uh, anyone else got a, got a thing to throw in? I also wanted to observe what a great... Uh, uh, a diverse bunch of music. Uh, I thought it was fun to go from Avinash's uh, Southern Indian raga, yeah, right into the ballad of Jed freaking Clampett. <laughs> that was that's that's basically throwing a that's net over the pretty whole pretty wide spectrum. Right yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, it's like a, the the mid city high five. It's like yeah, a regular high go. five, but you miss and you make a sound effect. One, two, three. <laughs> So you get the next one, y'all. <laughs> bye bye. Thank right. you, George. Thank you. I'll post this. Uh, I'll post this so that it's linked on the website, uh, on the uh, on the Facebook. Bye bye. Right. Bye. Be well, everybody. <laughs>